Right, excellent. On brand, on brand. Hello everybody, my name is Jasmine. Today I'd like to talk to you about something a little bit more serious and down to earth. It's anti-bullying week this week, which is a cause quite close to my own personal heart. And I was approached by the LGBT charity in the UK, Stonewall. And they were like, we're doing some stuff for anti-bullying week. You wanna, like, help us out? And I was like, meh, yeah, sure. And they gave me a shirt and a hashtag to promote. So if you bear with me while I promote that hashtag, that would be great. Thank you very much. Recent studies released by Stonewall have shown that 99% of students have heard their peers use the word gay in a negative way. For example... Oh, that's a bit gay. Stop being so gay. Gay! So let's just clear that up. They're using the word gay incorrectly. Gay is a word used to describe somebody's sexual preference for the same gender. It is not a way of describing somebody's mannerisms, it is not a way of describing somebody's fashion sense or their beauty regime, and it's certainly not a way to insult somebody. If you use the word gay in any way other than to describe somebody's sexual preference, then it's like calling someone blonde in order to try and get across the point that they have body odour issues. Like, you are just wrong. Another worrying statistic from the study showed that 96% of students had heard their peers use specifically homophobic language, such as puff and leather. 55% of LGBT teenagers over half say that they have experienced homophobic bullying. Of those bullied teenagers, one in three say that they have changed their future educational plans because of the bullying, and three out of five say that it negatively impacts their schoolwork. Although generally the trend is positive, five years ago 65% of LGBT teenagers had experienced homophobic bullying, it's still clear that we have a long way to go. As I said, I've been chatting with Stonewall and they are currently pushing out a campaign called Hashtag No Bystanders, which is part of Anti-Bullying Week. You can check out their video here, but the premise is if you hear somebody using the word gay in a negative light, or any slur for that matter, make sure you call them up on it, especially if it's children. This kind of behaviour is learned, it's not an integral part of our psyche, and so if we're vigilant, we could probably wipe out this horrible use of language in a generation, no? Check out some more links from Stonewall down below, but make sure that you're not a hashtag activist. By all means, use the hashtag, but actually do what the campaign says. Call people out on their shit. And I have a really cool audience, and so I trust you guys to call people out on their shit, okay? If you would like to see more of me, I like to do political and social commentary and debate videos on Rome with Oranges, which is this channel, so click subscribe if you like that stuff. Give this video a thumbs up because that means more people see it and we get more uh, engagement in this campaign. Uh, I'll put some links down below to other YouTubers who are doing stuff for Anti-Bullying Week. It's a really important awareness cause. I have been rhyming with oranges and I will see you guys very soon. Bye. I've started doing this thing where I have links to unlisted videos at the end of a couple of my videos. Um, if you want to have a little bit of a chat with me in comments about like stuff that I'm doing, then click on the video here and you can come over to the unlisted video. If you don't want to do that, don't. Just bugger off. Um, but yeah, I like, I want to have a catch up and we'll have a cup of tea and it'll be lovely, right? Okay. That's all I have to say now. Bye. <laughs>